I made this one in art class. I made this one in math when I was bored and the teacher got me in trouble. And then after I got in trouble, I made this one. <laughs> I fnurgled this one even. You what? I fnurgled this one. Oh, I thought you said something else. A little more inappropriate. <laughs> a little in a more, more inappropriate with a little racist tinge to it. Oh. See, fnurgled is a word that can be used to describe many different types of verbs. It can be used to be... I spent all night in the bathroom with lotion snuggler and myself. But you can also say, I just snuggled that bank like burgled, but snuggled. It doesn't have to be like provocative and sexy. <laughs> provocative. <laughs> so snuggler just means any word in the English dictionary. Yeah, you can basically replace any verb or adjective with snuggle. So Link's name is anything. Mm -hmm. So we can call him Biscuit. Yeah. Let's just call him Biscuit from now on then. How about oh, that? Oh, but I like Snuggler. <laughs> well, how about this? I like biscuits, okay? With gravy. And sausage sausage gravy. See, because you can say, like, I Fnurgled something, or what the Fnurgle, or like, I Fnurgle what? and hate that. I don't know about that one. I've never used it like that. I don't think you're, I don't think you're telling the truth. I think you're lying to me. Meow! <laughs> just sprays out of his butt. <laughs> you watched me take a crap! Oh yeah, these things are huh? I was about to say, I like, they start off like making a delicate cat noise and then it slowly turns into some horrific like, bat screaming noise. I wonder why they turn into things like that. What causes that? The There's... moon. But... They're were cats. That's weird though, how those... Were like, lemur cats. Evil creatures on this uh, floating island. See, maybe, maybe they do have inspiration for what monsters look like, because that's how they would know that monsters have sharp teeth, is because that lemur cat has sharp teeth. But then, why do they keep the monsters around as pets? Because they're adorable when it's daylight. Remember, even that one professor has one as a pet, remember? Yeah. So, like, what does he do with it at night? Maybe lock it in a cage? That's weird. It's like a, a gremlin. Mm-hmm. Don't feed it after midnight. Have you ever seen the Gremlins? Um, I did when I was like eight years old. Is that where Furbies came from? So you're allowed to watch Gremlins, but not allowed to watch freaking That's So Raven? <laughs> Gremlins is so much worse. There's like killing in that. Yeah. That's ridiculous. See, that just makes no sense. To it's me. not that That's So Raven was inappropriate, it's just that my parents thought it was a dumb show. My parents think a lot of oh, shows are dumb. Well, that's their opinion, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. An op onion in my, uh, my French. <clears throat> my lingo. My lingo. She's got some sweet I'm valley I'm ringing my lingo on. with my dingo on my dingus. Fnurgling that. Yeah, with the extra fnurgler on the side, mixed with dingus. And oh more man, dingus. girl, we just opened up a cave in the, the feet end of, of this feet. goddess. No, that's the butt. Oh. Yeah, we're entering the butt. I didn't realize goddess. her butt was all the way down there. Anyway, well, yeah. It'd I mean, be very odd for somebody to have a butt underneath their feet. Inside the butt of the goddess. Just oh, pulls that sword out yeah. and then just unloads like a volcano of just pent up crap <laughs> and then it just busts out of that back door no one chosen by my creator I've been waiting for you according to his fee his name I was given single purpose I Long. thought that Zelda could do weird things with her hair, but what's going on I with your sleeve you arms? I must fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. She always freaked me out because she didn't have arms, but didn't have, like, Take up this sword either. as the one chosen by the creator. It is your destiny. My sudden appearance. It is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Uh, no shit. <laughs> Her head is shaped like an acorn. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. 
This information have, has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. Does she state. have vines growing up her legs? It's like leggings. No, in my, or no, it's like wiring. Is it? So that's my guess. No, it's not. It's just for looks. Uh, well, I need a closer look to see. But what if what if it was vines and she was slowly being overtaken look, by poison Look, it's just clothing. Oh, I guess it is true. This spirit maiden. The one you call Zelda is another chosen one fated to be a part of the same great mission. She has one half like a dark color. I wonder if she has a secret like bipolar disease. I wonder if she's hiding a, uh, some male like parts under there. Oh, like half of it is a girl and the other part is a guy? Ugh, that's disgusting. Yeah, that would be awful. Disgustingly no, no. enticing. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I think she's got, like, a bipolar disease, and occasionally, instead of helping you, she tells you specific directions that don't help you. Go left into this boiling pit of lava. <laughs> uh, why? Why? Just do it. Trust me, <laughs> that's where Zelda is. <laughs> According to my calculations, you have 0% chance of surviving this lava. Hop in, you dumb ass. <laughs> Ready stance. Here we go, guys. Grab it. I'm drawing it. And pull. Here we go. Pull. I'm pulling. Pull. It looks like he's slowly just pulsing he, back and he's forth. He's focusing. Pull. He's focusing his energy. This is like raising the Excalibur out of the stone. Alright, lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Raise it skyward. Dun. I would love to be able to hold my swords aloft into the sky and have them gain glowing energy. I do that with um, my sword. What is the divine light coming from? The sun. But it's dark out. And there's still rays bouncing, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no way. Recognition complete. Master. Fnergler. <laughs> my master. I wouldn't have picked that name. Fnuggler! <laughs> My eyebrows sent something was going on here. <laughs> Look at them, they pick up radio waves like crazy. They were twitching in anticipation. Here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it's foretold the, the youth of legend would one day appear. <laughs> it is said that this place is left to our people by the goddess ourselves. Now, <laughs> hold your sword aloft. Swish and flick. Limgardian Leviosa. The great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Yep, it's that youth. He's guided by my hand. <laughs> Shall reveal himself in the place most sacred. I wish that people called teenagers youth instead of teenagers. Why? Like they do, but... Well, because whenever people call teenagers teenagers, like, the term refers to, like, there was stupid simply kids no other that don't know what they're doing. You know? Those old whippersnappers. Like that. Yeah. Dumb young teenage punks. Yeah, because, like, that's the... That's the feel that I get whenever people call me a teenager. It's like, yeah, you're dumb and you don't know what you're doing. But if they called me a youth, it's like... The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Why would he try to keep this a secret when he was also trying to help find out, like, who the master... like? I, I don't know, maybe it would have influenced them but when they should not be influenced. And it would change the effects of what happens. There aren't very many Oral people. tradition. <laughs> yeah. Well, there aren't very many people in this town. Like, there's not even enough people in the academy Master to definitely and, like... taught me the oral tradition. Would you like me to show you? She called it fellatio. I would be more than pleased to what? demonstrate. Fellatio? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Felicia. What does that mean? Well, next, call your mom up and ask her. I don't want to ask my mom anything that Just might be bad. Ask. No, it's not bad. Just be like, hey, um, next time when you uh, when you see Dad, make sure to really just. Practice no. some Felicia. No. <laughs> I want to know what it is now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like over here, like Google, like giggling to myself. <laughs> You have no idea. It's like a kid sitting in the middle of class and like, while everybody's taking a test and the kid's like, but, and then keeps taking but? the test. Like you says, like when little kids say like dirty words yeah. and it's all like quiet and they all giggle about it because it's so funny. It's not a dirty word. No. The word itself is not I dirty. remember it took me a long time to be able to <laughs> say but comfortably. Because I was always wow. a little kid that was like, I say bum, and I still say bum. Wow. I don't know. Wow. It's not like it was treated as a bad word in my household. It was just like, I just didn't say it. It was kind of, it made me feel uneasy. That's, that's crazy. And now I'm like, ugh. Oh. I love. I say butt all the time. <laughs> I'll throw it around like it's nothing. You butt. Butt. This is no easy task, Fnugla. The world below is a forsaken place. And to reach it, you must pierce through the cloud barrier below. You must penetrate the In living cloud memory, barrier. no one has ever done this. Not even my eyebrows. <laughs> my eyebrows. <laughs> I shaved them, threw them down there. They just bounced <laughs> back like they were. They just bounced back like boomerangs. <laughs> they wouldn't be like taking a razor and shaving them off and holding them in his hands like fly, <laughs> dropping them into the sky. And they do like a magnet, like stick right back onto his head. <laughs> I see you are unwilling to leave my face. The emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Well, that usually is what weathered means. Don't tell me what weathered means. You trying to in, like, in, make fun of my English? Come on now. My English. This is not an educational show, okay? <laughs> this is for entertainment purposes only. Hold your sword aloft. Strike and it down. Stick it. Bling. That's so cool. Like. Oh, it's so cool. It's I, so cool, it's cold. I don't know, like, the symbols on this game... It's googly. all the shapes and stuff are really interesting. I cool. like squares and triangles and circles and blue and cars and reds. Well, I'm, I'm glad that we had that. R-E-D... R-E-D... Did R you have songs for colors when you were in kindergarten? R E D red, R E D red. <laughs> Fire trucks are red. You made Fire like, trucks are red. You paused. Stop signs are red too. Stop <laughs> signs are red too. R E D, R E D. You like paused for a second, looked up, to, like you were trying to remember what the rest of the song was, and you were like, <gasps> red. That's what I'm spelling. <laughs> Did you have songs for colors? I just sang heard? one. I That's just busted so weird. it out. I only remember having a song for like the months in a year and really? like washing your hands song. I don't remember it anymore. We had a bunch of different songs in kindergarten. O-R-A-N-G, O-R-A-N-G. Whoa, I've never heard any of these before. Yep, it was a song. And I remember like for grades to come. To remember how to spell orange, I would sing that song because orange is a, is a tricky one. It is weird. O R A N G E. <laughs> orange. Orangi. Orangipang. Um, I remember there was like one nursery rhyme song that B -L -A -C -K, we learned. B L A C K B L A C K. That's what those people. Oh, I was are. trying to figure out That's what, what some you were people spelling. Are. B L A C K. B L A C K. Um. There was one we learned where it was like, there was a little box turtle, and we put kept it in a box because it was a box turtle, and then we put it in the bathtub because we maybe thought the box turtle could be a, a bathtub turtle, but then the turtle died and we buried it in this box. And it was a really weird, messed up rhyme, but that's all I remember from it. Wow. I don't remember like how it goes. Morbid. Please find my daughter <laughs> and bring her back to me. Have you ever heard the, um... What we've seen here today defies explanation, but is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend's true. Okay. I'm trying to remember what that song is. It's a really funny song about- You do your people proud, Fnogler. <laughs> that handshake went on for too long. <laughs> I, you're, we're really proud. Dawn is drawing near. It's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? 
You have a great journey before you, Fnurgler. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. They are not fashionable enough. Nice. A sturdy uniform? Definitely. Count me in. You will need some eyebrows like yeah. mine if you want to survive the world below. I'm willing to trade you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little swap meet. Everybody brings their eyebrows. Yes. Saving time. Last call for alcohol. Saving time. Yeah. Da -da -da. There Saving it is. Time. Da -da -da. Saving time. Look at that tunic. Yeah. Are we looking fly as hell? Pull that glove. We're about to go into yeah. the club. No. <laughs> that green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's all as though you were born to wear it. Yeah, guys. The game begins, finally. The intro is over. Take care on your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town. I'll return to my quarters and trim my eyebrows. <laughs> My eyebrows are always welcome to stop <laughs> by. <laughs> my eyebrows will miss you, and they will be in the prayer. You will be in my eyebrows' prayers. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll do your eyebrows proud. <laughs> I hear your sparring instructor, the Knight Commander, also knows that you are set from blah, blah, blah. My eyebrows are concerned for you. Be safe out there. I'm counting on you. You know what? I'll do it, man. I'll help you out. Hey, I'm trying to think of a, good, of a good rap for Link in his new tunic. That green uniform looks so adventurous. I look so good. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine doing that. I put a lot of hard work into making this. Don't mind the lotion he feeling all over it. <laughs> you got the adventure pouch! This is like coated in lotion. <laughs> you store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. And it's very slimy. <laughs> Matter of fact, one of the pouches has something sticky all over it. It's an adventure pouch. It's for uh, adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. Four whole things. Watermelon lotion, strawberry lotion, blueberry lotion, and lavender lotion. <laughs> you can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar, but you can't get lotion. Come to my house, and I'll hook you up. I have lotions that provide the least amount of friction. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know if I can handle the lotion anymore. No friction whatsoever. Calm, smooth, and gl smooth gliding. Walk into the club like, what up, I got a new pouch. Tunic so green, I'm gonna work up this. Buy myself a new couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think of a good rhyme for it. I'm so bad at, like, on the spot, on the spot rhyme. Freestyling? If Maybe I have, like, beat. if I have, oh, give hello. you a beat. I heard the news from Nurgler. Zelda's fallen down to the clouds. I don't remember the voices I gave these people, <laughs> so they all have different ones. His was a little bit gay, but suave. So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. And we got our first shield! It's got a, a, it's a light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so it be careful how you use easily. it. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. It's wood. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. You can fnurgle a new one at the bazaar. You're ridiculous. I'm getting tired <laughs> of your fnurgling. You're getting tired <laughs> of lotions. Oh, so that's what the knight commander wants. Well, good thing you saved me a trip from going over there. That's what I was about to do. Master, update. Okay, get out of here. It begins, guys. Oh, it's like a computer updating. It starts. Like when you're trying to do something, like you've got an important yeah. email, yeah. and it and starts then a pop -up to update. Just keeps yeah. popping up. He's coming. You need to update soon. Would you like to update now? Update to Windows I advise 10. you to purchase a shield in potions, even though we just got a shield. Shouldn't the game know? I don't know, actually. 
The main problem I have with this Zelda is fee. Seriously, it's and just fee. that you can't skip text. That's not a big problem, really, because when it's your first playthrough, you don't you want to read it all. But it's the big problem is fee. Even on my first playthrough, I didn't want to hear what she was saying a lot of the time. She kept beeping me, you know? Yeah. Really, really annoying. Well, plus, like, it's nice to figure out things on your own because you. And feel this a is sense one of my of favorite pride. things to do right here. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, I remember that you like got rid of those freaking things. Got rid things. of it for Gosh. me, and I think I might have put it back because I remember having my thing still up on there. Really? Mm -hmm. well, maybe you, maybe you had it like um light. I think there's like a light version. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, I had that one. Ugh. I I really just I don't like it. There's no point. I like it like that. I like, I like it like that. that. <laughs> she working that back, and I don't know how to act. Slow motion for me. Slow All motion right. for me. That's going to wrap up our episode. Slow motion for me, baby. Boom, got a sword, got a shield, ready to fight. Now we can go up to the guy that's blocking Ooh. the entrance to the Deku tree. Well, actually, I'm gonna- what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm gonna go into the bazaar and get some- get some snackages on for the way. Maybe grab a Lunchable or two. Maybe, um, make a sandwich. If you look up most relaxing Zelda music on YouTube, one of the songs is the song from the bazaar, and it's at the very end. And it is calming, but it's also a little bit more abrasive than others. See this this walk like towards the camera, and then he slowly starts to run. It looks like like a creepy kid like looking at you like, hey, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, and then he like gets even closer like, look, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks everybody for watching. Like if. Let all your farts out. Like if At we're once. gonna right get now. ya. Comment. Oh, what's the question of the day? I don't have a question. What's the biggest fart you've ever produced? No. <laughs> question of the day. What's the greatest question you've ever been asked? Oh, Inception. Boom, boom. Quest. Question. Boom. Questception. Bye, everyone.